Okay, so it's the day after Christmas, 2020, and I have the snowmelt pump roughly installed. Everything's soldered up at the top. Um, I still have to solder this in and then work down to my manifold, but some of you may be asking why. Why go through all this trouble and drop your level on the floor? Um, why go through all of this? for a snow melt to heat your driveway. Like, why? This is a lot of, man, I am knocking everything over down here. Why do it? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of soldering and effort and money into this whole setup. And I guess some of you, especially those of you that don't live in Buffalo, New York might ask, why? So this is why. This is, for those of you that don't live up here, what is called a lake effect snow band. So right now the winds are just right where they are pushing the moisture across, or the wind across Lake Erie, and it is picking up moisture from the warm lake. And what happens is it creates these intense bands of snow. And when I say intense, it might not look that bad right now, but as of about an hour and a half ago, I could see the driveway. Okay, so these, these bands will dump inches an hour all at once. I'm guessing we've probably got four inches here, five inches here in the last two hours. And for me, for where we live, you can see over here along the fence um, from yesterday's shoveling, you know, there's already a bunch of snow there. And, you know, I have a small lot in a suburb neighborhood here. And where do I put all this? Where does it go? I try to push it out to the street with the snow blower, but it takes time. Or it all goes right there in my backyard. And then in the spring, or when you get a warm up and it melts, it all goes down. It runs into the drain tile in the basement. It's just, I'm kind of landlocked in here to where I don't have a ton of room to put this stuff. So this is why I heated the driveway. Um, you know, once I get this on and running, as long as it's preheated, I'm pretty sure it'll keep up with a snowfall like this because the snow will pretty much melt as soon as it hits it. We'll see. Uh, I might have to do some fine tuning, maybe even have to turn up the aquastat a little bit during these intense snow bands um, but that's not a problem you know let it run a little harder when it can but yeah i just figured i'd show you guys uh you know what what i'm dealing with here and why why i took, went to all this effort to do this this is why so my wife and i and the kids are going to spend the next hour shoveling this and we'll probably have to do it again uh, by three o'clock because the lake effect snow band is literally right on top of us right now and it doesn't look like it's going to move for a few hours so but that's what we get we live here we knew what we signed up for so anyway i thought i'd show you i am wondering if i'm gonna need to clean off these vents for these heaters sucks the air intake from around the around the sides I don't want it to get where it can't pull air in and starve for air yeah they look okay I can pull them off too I, I didn't glue them on purpose so that if I needed to pull them off it's my first winter with these things so could always just get some compressed air and shoot it in there too to make sure it's all good but anyway yeah welcome to uh lake effect snow in buffalo new york okay you two so we just shoveled it out it is right now it is 11 42 a.m and it's already started to cover again so probably be out here for a few more minutes but uh, we'll see we'll see how uh, how quick it builds up again so I don't know if you could tell from the time lapse but all of this is heated this walkway is heated 
This is heated all the way up to here to the stairs. The stairs are not heated yet. Um, when they poured these like 15 years ago, they, the contractor screwed up. I never should have paid him, but I did. And uh, he made that bottom step like 18 inches and all the rest are 10. So everybody trips on it. And I didn't know that until I got the ring doorbell and then you can see everybody trip on it. So I talked to my concrete guy who did the driveway and I think what our plan is, I'm gonna take the railings off and we're probably gonna over pour over these and uh, I'm gonna put snow melt in them and I'll run it into the house because I did plan on one of the loops being underneath this front porch. So I'll just bring that loop down, pick up the stairs, and uh, these stairs will be snow melted as long as that porch. So that'll all be one loop. Loop number 14 on my system will be that deck and these steps. And I'll punch right through there. That goes right into my basement, right into the joist below. So it's It'll work out perfect. Pop a couple holes in, get the pecs in here, and uh, yeah, so all this will be heated. I did stop the heat down here. I stopped it right here at the end of my driveway. And some people have asked, why didn't you do the sidewalks in the apron? Um, and, and there are people in my neighborhood. There's a guy a couple houses over who, who had snow melt installed. He did the whole thing. And I'm not going to lie, it's nice because when the plow comes by, pushes all the stuff on the apron, you don't have to worry about it. It'll melt off. But, you know, I'm young. I'm not doing this because I'm, you know, yeah, it, it does take a toll on your back. I'm not going to lie, but uh, I'm not doing this just out of laziness. I'm doing this because I don't have any place to put the snow, like I explained earlier back there. And originally, my plan was going to be only to melt everything back here up to, up to here. I was going to melt only this and not this. And then I decided, well, if you're doing it, why wouldn't you do the front walkway? So I did that, and then it's like, okay, what's the extra to go another 20 feet to the end of the driveway? And it just kept adding on and on, and it got to the point where, where do you stop? You know, plus technically this is where my property ends. The right of way is pretty much right there on that crack. So the gas, the gas line is out here. There's um, electric out here for the street lights. I would not have wanted to run my loops like you see in the time lapse all the way to the end of the apron and back because if they came through here one day, which they have the right to do, and they cut this driveway out to repair or work on the natural gas line and they cut through all my loops, I'm SOL. I have no recourse on them. It's not my property. Um, here, if anybody were to cut into this, that's my property and nobody should be cutting or doing anything on this without my permission and I could tell them, hey, there's snow melt in there. You can't do that. The sidewalks and the apron are a different story. Plus, that these trees, these big, you know, 100-year-old trees heave this sidewalk every year. I mean, mine looks great now because I just poured it last year. But I also worry about, you know, over 10, 15 years, the sidewalk piece is heaving and shearing the, the packs or kinking them. And I don't want that tied in with this. So I could have run a couple of one-inch PEX lines and those insulated round pipes that, uh, and maybe run it to a manifold box out here somewhere and then kept the apron and the sidewalk on its own zone with its own loops out here. So if they ever did get cut, all I would have to do is just re-pour this and tie into that manifold. But, you know, listen, of all the years, we've been here 15 years, if the only thing moving forward that I have to worry about is this sidewalk and this apron, I'm happy. I'm good. You know, that, that takes me 10 minutes to knock out. Um, this up here is what takes the longest and there's just no place to put it. So anyway, it's uh, 11.47, so we'll see. I'll let you know when round two comes, but we're still getting some good snow here. All right, here we are again. It's still the 26th. It is now 3.53. And as you can see, we are back buried again. So, do it all over again. So you want to know why I need? I wanted a heated driveway. So 
as you can tell earlier, look at all the snow. Um, now we're to the point where I have all this to move. Probably another five, six inches of snow here. And uh, I have no place to put it. I can't put it here. Um, even if you try to put it here, it all just rolls back down into the driveway. So I'm going to end up um, carting it all to the front yard. I could get the snowblower out. It's buried. I was hoping to have this heated driveway on by now. But uh, yeah, so I'll just shovel it. But anyway, that's why I'm heating the driveway. Hopefully have it done very soon. Ah, these vents again. It's like deja vu all over again here. It's still coming down. They're not really anticipating it stopping uh, for a little while yet. So yeah, this will be fun.